Hello and welcome to this video on Decode submission for the tool called Rake Planning with Visual Business. My name is Pavitra GK and I work for SAP Custom Development Bangalore. This video will take you through a short demonstration of how easy it is to map to interactively look for locations on a visual business embedded web dentro application and how easy it is going to be for plant logistics users of industries such as uh, steel or cement and such manufacturing industries to interactively look for supplying plants and receiving locations such as railheads or warehouses and interactively initiate stock transfer movement from the web UI while at the same time ensuring that transaction documents such as stock transfer order or a sales order is created in the back end and subsequently uh, the statuses of these rakes or, or trucks are interactively mapped in the back end system to create subsequent downstream logistical documents. Now without much ado you could see here that the top part of the screen is uh, representing three spots called uh, a supplying plant which is called uh, Aditya Cement Works. There is a railhead called um, Ahmednagar Railhead which is already planned for a stock transfer and there is another railhead called Mulund railhead between which I want to initiate a stock transfer interactively on this map. So all I'm going to do is drag and drop from Aditya Cement Works up to Mulund railhead and leave it there. Now if you could see here how interactive it is to immediately plan for a movement of a stock from Aditya Cement Works to Mulund Railhead on a geographical map which is already embedded with rich features of automatic identification of the locations on a geographical map. Now if you could see here that array planning has been initiated at this stage and the details of the source and the target are automatically filled. Now I could quickly fill in the rest of the details of the rake uh, in terms of its planning so that I could go ahead and submit the rake and um, I'm going to look for the transition time and the, the time at which the rake has to be planned to be moved. Now once I fill in this basic details I'm going to click on the button create rake which does two things. One is a creation of an object called a rake in the backend system with the details that I've supplied some of which are coming from the map which uh, you have used for interactively identifying locations and creating links dynamically on the map and some of the information I've keyed in from the web dentro UI. Now two things have happened one is that it's created a rake in the status called plant as you can see here and this being a rake which is planned has also initiated the creation of a stock transfer order uh, which is ending with 5302 in the backend system between these two locations uh, within which I initiated the movement. Now we're going to quickly go to the backend system and see that uh, there is a stock transfer order created in the backend system between Aditya Cement Works and Mulund Railhead which is basically what was initiated from the UI. Once the rake is created in the status plant and a subsequent stock transfer order is also created in the backend system, let us further see how the same application can be used to change the status of the rake to let us say in transit once the train has already actually started moving from the supplying plant which is Aditya Cement Works in our case. So in order to do that this application uh, which is a different application than the one which was showed initially uh, allows you to basically look for the rake which we've created in the uh, first application which is basically our rake number which ends with 25. Yeah here's our rake. I'm going to quickly click on the search button which basically looks for the information that we uh, with, with which we created the rake 25 so it was basically planned from Aditya Cement Works to Mulund Railhead and it shows the link on the map again from Aditya Cement Works to uh, Mulund Railhead um, uh, that's, the, that's the point where we've uh, linked it now this indicator basically which is in blue shows that the status of the rake is currently in plant status now let us say once the strain actually moves from the uh, supplying plant Aditya Cement Works with the stock that is already loaded onto the train the plant logistics clerk can interactively uh, change the rake status by clicking on this link and uh, right clicking on this link and say change rake status to in transit. Now the moment he does that there are several things which happen in the background. One is this, uh, the, the, change, the color of this link gets changed to red which basically says that the transition has already begun and um, it's also initiated the creation of outbound delivery and goods issue documents against the same STO with which we um, uh, 
which which was created during the planning of the rake uh, 25 so let's go to the system and check the um, uh, transition of this document and, and its impact on the STO which was created earlier if you can see the same STO 2302 that was created earlier there are two documents created in the background one is a delivery document which is an outbound and the other is a goods issue document which basically represents the moment of the stock from the supplying plant once the rake has changed to, trans uh, to in transit status the and the stock has actually arrived at the receiving location which is Mulund railhead in our case we can also change the status of the rake to arrived and initiate the creation of subsequent documents against the STO such as goods receipt document to indicate that the stock has really arrived at the receiving location. So for this the what we have to do is basically look for our rake which is um, ending with the number 25 here and click on search which basically pulls in the information of the rake and we know that it's in the status in transit. Uh, all that the clerk at the receiving location has to do is right click on the link and say change the status to arrived. With this, two things happen. One is the status of the rake is changed to arrived, and at the same time, goods receipt and in del inbound delivery documents are created against the STO. If you look at the same STO which was created earlier at the purchase order history, we could see now that this particular transaction is complete with the stock actually arriving at the goods at the um, receiving location, which is Mulund Railhead from Aditya Cement Works. This basically ensures that plant logistics users at the supplying plant and the clerks at the receiving location can interactively plan for stock transfers with different transportation modes using this interactive web-based tool. Thank you for watching.